What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to WWE 2K19 AI Universe Mode. This is Raw is War Week 9, coming fresh off of the Raw is War Fast Lane pay-per-view, which was an incredible show, and I am here with the owner of Raw is War, Mr. Maverick. I own Raw is War! Yes, you do. And we are coming to you. From Los Angeles, California, uh, I believe that's where uh, NXT War Games took place tonight. Yes, it was. And uh, anyone who has a network who did not witness that, go and watch NXT TakeOver War Games. It was fantastic. Please. But we are starting out with singles action. We've got the Ultimate Warrior versus Raven. And uh, Warrior has proved in the past he is damn near invincible. But the dark mind of Raven uh, could lead him to a victory here tonight. We will just have to find out. We are kicking off week nine. Warrior Raven. Here we go. supposed to be here. Yeah, the official trying to pull him off with the, a relentless assault. And now he's calling for some help. Somebody's got to break this up. The damage has already been done. Get him out of here. And Bray Wyatt with a relentless attack to Raven. Uh, Raven already not having a very good chance of defeating the Warrior. Now, I believe he's got zero chance of defeating the Warrior. Yeah, I think Wyatt was jealous that Raven's cult was more successful than his own. That was a good point. Uh, was it? Oh, Raven now, cross arm breaker, trying to wear down the arms of the warrior take away the strength you can't take away the strength of the warrior he runs on rocket fuel yeah I really believe you when you say that I'm not being sarcastic I actually believe you <laughs> and now Raven with a snap suplex to the ultimate warrior strike to the head warrior coming back no Raven now standing vertical suplex dead center of the ring to the warrior and uh, both of these men's legends of the wrestling business. Uh, two very different styles, though, at the same time. Very different styles, very different personalities. Oh, yeah. Damn near complete opposites. And now Warrior with the headlock wrenching on the neck of Raven, trying to pull Raven's head right off of his shoulders. And I believe he could do it. Those 25-inch pythons of his. Yeah, Warrior scary. And now Raven getting back up to his feet, fighting back against the Ultimate Warrior, but not being it. Whoa, the agility by the Warrior. Oh, and a big boot straight to the face, and Warrior is feeling it. Look, look at the dude down there. <laughs> the dude down there is feeling it. The crowd, He's excited, the crowd, yeah. He was really excited. And now Raven with the strength, single knee gut buster to the abs of the ultimate warrior. Oh, wait, Raven! Paul Driver! I think Ultimate Warrior may have been underestimating Raven since that attack. Yes, he did, and it, it cost him, even though he is able to kick out at one, but uh, a pile driver does some damage no matter how you hit it. And now Raven setting up. Oh, setting up for the Raven effect DDT, but Warrior able to escape it, drop toe hold, and that's a signature of Raven's right there. Elbow to the knee. The knee! My leg! Slamming the head of Raven into the mat, hooking the leg. One, and Raven still able to kick out at one. And I, I think I underestimated Raven in this one. Oh, wait a second, though. The Warrior with the Gorilla Press Slam. The unprecedented strength. And Raven could be done being dropped. Well, he's definitely done now. Ultimate Splash. That's got to be it. One. Two. No. 
Raven at the very last millisecond getting the shoulder up. That was a 2.9 if I've ever seen one. I can't believe Raven's still going in this and Warrior just throwing Raven by his neck. Now, oh wait, Warrior, ultimate splash, knocking out Raven. You're a winner, the ultimate Warrior. And I... Turns out that damage dealt to him before the match was effective. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like if Bray Wyatt did not attack Raven before this match, Raven had a decent chance of coming out with the win. But that just wasn't the case here. Here is your winner, the ultimate Warrior! This is a familiar scene, Ultimate Warrior standing tall on Raw is War. And we will have to uh, get more on the Raven Wyatt situation later on. We are moving on in the evening. And this one's about to be crazy. We've got a triple threat tornado tag match with the New Day, Rusev Day, and the Young Bucks. And, uh, I mean... New Day, I mean, now probably considered one of the greatest teams in WWE history. Uh, Rusev and Aiden English not lacking talent whatsoever, but over there on the right, Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks, the wild card in this one. And this is the first ever Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team match in universe mode. And anything could happen here, but... Whichever team comes out on top, it's going to be a huge victory for said team. Yes, and this match is definitely going to be a cluster. Fuck. Yes. Cluster fuck. And his opponents, first, at a combined weight of 519 pounds, Rusev and Aiden English. Rusev Day! And his opponents, first, at a combined weight of 412 pounds, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson. 
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. These three teams ready to go at it. And uh, commentary is going to be all over the place in this one because the action is going to be all over the place. And look at Nick Jackson with a pop-up drop kick to Rusev. Already the action is chaos. The screen is shaking every time they connect a hit. Oh, yes. And due to this being a tornado tag team match, there are no countouts but pinfall submission and apparently knockout. Good God, what a spear by Matt Jackson to Kofi Kingston. Anything you can do to win the match has to take place in the ring. There we go. And now Kofi with the Russian leg sweep to Matt. Trying to look for big spots. Kofi going for a spinning heel kick. Not able to connect. And uh, do you think uh, it being Rusev Day has any impact on this match? Well, Rusev is at full power on Rusev Day. Which is every day. No, it's right? not every day. It's just Rusev Day. I, it's Rusev Day today. I'm, I'm confused. Did, did you hear this from Rusev? Yes. Today is Rusev Day. I, I think I need to talk to him and get more in-depth with this because I'm confused as hell. But here we go. Big E and Matt Jackson to the outside. Kofi and Rusev going at it. And now, oh, Nick missing the drop kick there. One member from each team outside in the ring. And the Young Bucks, uh, probably undoubtedly the like biggest indie tag team right now. Yeah, I would agree. But uh, here on Raw is War. They are a part of the Bullet Club along with Cody and Kenny Omega. And Kofi with a boom drop to Nick Jackson. And Matt Jackson tombstone to Rusev. Good Lord. Anytime. Trouble in paradise to Nick. There are signatures and finishers going on everywhere right now. Kofi hooking the leg. One, two, and Rusev breaking it up. And it is going to be very, very difficult to get a pinfall or a submission. Probably going to end in knockout, let's be honest. Probably. And that, whoa, Kofi and Rusev working together. I did not expect that. Rusev with the super kick to a member of the Young Bucks. And Big E, big splash to Aiden English. You going to capitalize on that? And now Rusev getting pumped up. Big E has Aiden in his grasp. The only two in the ring. Big ending to Aiden English. Hook in the leg. One, two. Oh, and Aiden actually able to kick out of the big ending. And we got a little bit of everything in this match. The high-flying, super-kicking Young Bucks. The powerhouse of Rusev and Big E. And Matt Jackson with a sharpshooter to Big E. Oh, he Rusev, tap? Rusev accidentally kicking his own partner, Aiden English. A bit of miscommunication there. Well... Can you blame him? This is absolute insanity. And Rusev locking in the accolade, but right in front of Big E. Big E took exception to that. Didn't appreciate it. What a clothesline. The two big men looking to go at it. Kofi head first off the hardest part of the ring. Hurt the dirt the dirt. Michael Cole. <laughs> yeah, Michael Cole. Jeez. Big E, Jesus. Did you see the release German to Rusev? I think he is possibly the strongest uh, superstar in the current roster. I I didn't know Rusev could do backflips. Well, there's a lot you don't know. You gotta learn more on Rusev Day. Well, one one thing I do know is Big E is the one who taught him to do backflips. And now all six men back into the ring, and Matt once again tombstone to Big E. To a sweet. Throwing up the two sweet hand sign. The best hand sign. Yes, it is. Oh my God, so much going on. It's back and forth Wait. between everyone here. Nick with the X Factor and Matt Jackson setting up to end Big E here. Oh my God. Lifting up Big E, package pile driver. Is that gonna be enough to capitalize? That's about the most indie move there is. Oh, oh no. Wait. Oh, Matt has this match won, but the ref paying attention to the submission hold of Nick Jackson. 
The Young Bucks had that match in the bag, but the ref just wasn't paying attention. The usual. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Gotta fire that ref. Rusev sending Nick to the outside of the ring. On the inside, we have Aiden English and Big E going at it. Kofi setting up for trouble in paradise to Matt Jackson. No! Matt able to get out of the way and sending Kofi straight to the floor. And now, here's the opportunity for Rusev and or Aiden English to pick up a win. The only two inside the ring. But, oh, Aiden here. He's getting Call, too cocky. Calling back to his vaudeville. Jesus, hip toss over the top rope to the floor. Yep, Aiden English got too cocky there. Yeah, he's dead now. Not as dead as everyone in War Games, but still pretty dead. It's close. Oh, my. Biggie. Biggie. If Aiden wasn't dead then, he's going to be dead now. Splash on the apron. Good Lord. Just draped across the apron there. Yeah, that, that was not pretty. Kofi face first off the announce table. And Rusev with a single leg camel clutch. And Big E looking, looking for the splash again. Matt ref Jackson. is out once Matt again. Jackson kicking the ref. Oh, and Rusev now the high angle slam to Nick Jackson. This is pure chaos. Oh, yeah. Now the ref is down, what's going to happen? Don't tell me. Oh, Big E was going for a third splash on the apron to Aiden English. Now Nick Jackson with the Hurricanrana in the pin. One, two. And Rusev able to kick out. Looking at it here. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know what Nick was going for. Looking for some sort of springboard maneuver. It didn't, Jesus. Now Kofi overhead kick to Matt Jackson. Aiden English rolling senton. Oh wait, Biggie with the straps down. Biggie's got serious. He's ready to end this match. Setting up Rusev for the big ending. You don't see the straps come down too often. Biggie getting serious. No. Now New Day's in control. Both their members in the ring. But it is absolute chaos as usual in a match like this. Trouble in paradise to Aiden English. Kingston is able to uh, get a pin here. He might have it won. One. No. Nope. As said before, it's going to be very diff. Oh, and Matt telling everyone to suck it and receiving a clothesline to the back of the head. Rusev took exception to that. Rusev said, suck this clothesline. X factor to Kofi Kingston. And two, a sweet by Nick Jackson. And I'm not sure. Stabber to Aiden English. I'm not sure which team is better off here. <laughs> like, there's been so much happening. Both both members of each team have had such damage done to them. Oh yeah. You can't you can't expect anything less, not only with three teams, but in the tornado tag team environment. Now Nick! I, I don't think he knows how to hit that. No, probably not. Damn it, AI. We need a patch ASAP. Yeah, Nick, you're not. Okay. Okay, hit he Rusev with did it. did something. Sure. Sure. I guess it worked. Oh, Big E running straight through Matt Jackson. Oh, wait. Oh, oh Big E. I don't think he knew where he was. Kicking his partner, Kofi, in the gut. And now the strength Tiger suplex sending Rusev to the mat. Aiden English busted open. The first casualty of this match, Aiden English. Big splash to English. One, two. Oh, so close. Matt Jackson was there just in time. Yes, he was. And the other young buck, Nick Jackson, diving bionic elbow. And now we got one member of each team in the ring. The ref is down again. And Kofi with the strength power bomb on the floor. In comes Rusev. Oh wait, Matt was setting up for another package pile driver. Probably the most indie move in this entire game. Yes, but he was interrupted by Rusev coming in to save the day and help his friend Aiden English. Single leg camel clutch locked in a Matt Jackson. Oh my God. 
Nick face first onto the apron. I'm going to pause real quick and make sure knockout's on. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. We good. So it's got to happen eventually. Rusev super kick to the back of the head of Kofi Kingston. Sharpshooter locked into Big E. Backstabber to Aiden English. The There have been so many big moves in this match. It has been crazy. And Big E setting up Matt Jackson. Big ending. Swanton to his own partner inadvertently. Definitely miscommunication there. But he's still throwing up the two sweet. And Nick heading back to the top rope again. Elbow to the back of English. Rusev setting up Big E for the high angle slam. How is no one knocked out yet? I don't know. There have been so everyone's many. Everyone's in the ring again. There have been so many signatures and finishers in this one. Oh, going for a super kick and missing. Rusev with the accolade. Being broken up real quick with everyone in the ring. Spear to Aiden English. Nick, you can't do it. You can't. Oh, oh, springboard. Swanton knocking out Kofi Kingston. Your winners representing the Bullet Club, Nick and Matt Jackson, the Young Bucks. They were able to pull that magic trick right out of the hat and get a knockout victory. And Nick screwing up with that springboard the entire match, but the one time he hit it, got the Young Bucks the victory. Here are your winners, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson. I mean, a victory for the Young Bucks. Cody still the Intercontinental Champion. The Bullet Club's looking pretty good. Yes, they are. And we are moving on here in week nine. And up next, we have we have women's action. Uh, Tony Storm, the winner of the May Young Classic. Uh, going up against Ruby Riot, the new women's champion. Ruby Riot able to capture the Raw Women's Championship from Rosemary at the Fast Lane pay per view. And we have not seen much from Tony Storm, huge, huge female wrestler on the indie scene, but she's in the big leagues now, going up against the toughest woman on the Raw Is War Women's Division. Making her way to the ring from Auckland, New Zealand, Tony Storm. It's time for some mayhem. And her opponent from Lafayette, Indiana, the Raw Women's Champion, Ruby. And here we go, Tony Storm, the women's champion, Ruby Riot, and uh, both these women, kind of similar in a way. Both wear red and black. Both very rocker chicks, head to toe. Absolutely, but will their uh, similar styles really meet and show which one is the best at it? Oh, well, we're about to find out, and Riot so quick with a deadly nightshade. Shen, you know Ruby's got to be feeling good, finally able to defeat Rosemary, and not only that, recapturing the Raw Women's Championship. Yes, having that championship is like having a crown on your head. Everywhere you go, you feel great. And Ruby now spinning soul kick, putting Tony on the mat and a springboard stomp to the chest. <clears throat> Both of these women, I can't even explain to you how talented they are. And now Tony Storm with a dragon screw leg whip. Picking up the champ off the mat and 
looks like she is uh, definitely targeting those legs of Ruby Riot. Riot gonna come back with a forearm strike to the face. Arm drag back and forth between these two. Now Tony slingshot Ruby Riot straight to the mat. So far it's been pretty back and forth between these two. Yes, it has been. Now Tony Storm. Oh, cattle mutilation submission hold. But I don't know if Tony let her go or that was a rope break. Michael Cole never has any idea what he's talking about. I think it may have been a rope break. I think it might have been two. But uh, either way, submission hold not working out for Tony Storm. Oh, my God, the Bukaki knee. Hook in the leg, one. No, only a one count after that brutal knee strike from Tony Storm. Oh, wait. Storm setting up Riot. Kick to the gut. Storm zero connecting. One, two. Riot reversing. One, two. Tony reversing. Oh, my God. Back and forth we go in this matchup. That could have ended at any second. Pinfall after pinfall between these two. Forearm shift to the face. Riot into the turnbuckle and Tony Storm missing. And now Storm flipping over Riot, locking in the single leg Boston Crab. Riot pretty quick to escape the submission hold. And Tony Storm rolling to the outside. Ruby Riot will gladly take a count out victory here. And gladly take a break. Downward spiral storm face first. And now the champ setting up to end it. Riot kick. That might be it. It's gotta be. Shut up, Byron. One. Two. And no. Storm still in it. And Riot cannot believe it. Both these women fighting full of heart. Riot headed to the top. Frog splash picture perfect. Picking up Storm. And now Riot up to the shoulder and stun gun across the top rope. Riot showing off the strength. Riot's been able to take control of this matchup. Yes, she has. Hey, I stare down. Hooray. Patch, 2K, patch! There we go. Too late now. Storm kicking out at two. Forearm strike to the jaw. Tony into the turnbuckle. Oh, going for the deadly night shape. And Tony Storm with another Bukaki knee out of nowhere. Riot could be done. One. Just a one count. The fighting spirit from the Raw Women's Champion. Paige's music hitting. What is this? What's going on? I don't know. Your roster's out of control. Paige's music hitting, but I, I don't see her anywhere. Oh, that's because she is sizing up Tony Storm. The ref distracted. Round Paige. And what what does Paige have against Tony Storm? I don't know, but it was enough to get involved in Riot, this match. Hook in the leg, one, two, and Tony Storm still able to get the shoulder up. Your roster really is out of control, though, for real. That's the way we like it on Raw's War. It's a I, war zone. I respect it. I respect it. SmackDown's still better, but you know. Shut your mouth. You shut your whore mouth. How dare? And now Riot with the AI stare down. Tony Storm receiving a rampage from behind. And that's got to put Ruby Riot. Uh, Riot definitely with the advantage now after that huge move delivered to Tony Storm. But wait! Storm! Air Raid Crash Neck Breaker! Hook in the leg! One, two, three! And Tony Storm overcoming all the odds and more importantly, getting a victory over the Raw Women's Champion.
that definitely shoots her up in the contender spot for the Raw Women's title. And definitely proves just how tough she is. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match... As Here is your winner, Tony Storm. Congratulations to Tony Storm. You can't help but to smile after something like that. Tony Storm fighting through everything and coming out on top. But we are moving on here in week nine of Raw is War in Los Angeles, California. Dream over. Now we've got Drew McIntyre versus the million dollar champion, Demon Balor. Drew McIntyre just inches away from capturing the World Heavyweight Championship at the Fastlane pay-per-view. Dean Ambrose able to retain, but Finn Balor, the Demon King, on the other hand, able to retain his million dollar championship. Not only that, he knocked out Bill Goldberg. That's quite a feat. That That's impossible in real life yeah <laughs> but here we go ladies and gentlemen we got the former world champ drew mcintyre going one-on-one -on -one with the demon king finn balor Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent, from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, the Million Dollar Champion, Finn Balor! And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Scottish psychopath, Drew McIntyre, the Million Dollar Champion, Demon King, Finn Balor. And if McIntyre can pick up a victory over the Million Dollar Champion, I mean, he, he's struggling. He, he is desperate for a victory, is McIntyre. He's on a downward slope, that's for sure. Hitting a flat liner, sending the Demon King face first into the mat. Doesn't Balor's, like, paint start washing away in this? If the match goes on long enough, I think Yeah, that's really cool. That was a cool mechanic. Now, Balor with the strikes, but McIntyre, powerful Irish whip, sending Balor back first into the turnbuckle, deadlift, set out power bomb. McIntyre's definitely got the strength advantage in this one. Yeah, 
but Balor, oh wait, one, not even a one count. Balor, one of the quickest characters I have seen in universe mode so far. Sling Blade! As such. Sling Blade is, just flows so well. Not only the name, but the actual move. Yeah. And now McIntyre with a huge forearm to the face of Balor. And McIntyre trying to trying over and over to get a victory as quickly as possible. I don't blame him. He's got to be pretty frustrated with the amount of losses he's had recently. Yeah, but he's not going to get that quick of a victory over the million dollar champion. Who knocked out Bill Goldberg? That and was weird. McIntyre acting surprised. <laughs> you got a lot to learn, kid. And now once again, deadlift powerbomb. McIntyre staying in control for the most part so far. Yeah, Balor hasn't gotten an inch in. Oh my god. Oh my god! Pow driver! Who told you to do that? Not Vince. Vince back there pissed right now. Now Balor over and over just stomping Drew McIntyre. And now the single underhook suplex. Oh no, the most deadly move in professional wrestling. Squeak. That is ten times more deadly than the package pile driver. I'll have you know. Facts. It's all, it's all because of the torque. It's all because of the torque. Now Balor with a stiff kick to the spine of McIntyre. McIntyre coming back with a huge clothesline. Now Finn fighting back against the big man. McIntyre into the turnbuckle. Oh, Finn going for a clothesline and the Glasgow kiss. But Balor immediately fighting back. Calf kick to the face. And McIntyre with a kip up. They're not giving each other any inches here. And McIntyre not playing around, but Balor setting up for the shotgun drop kick. And yes, of course, following up. Gonna go for the finish. Coup de gras. That might be it. Hook in the leg. One, two. No. McIntyre with the shoulder up. I honestly thought that was it. The coup de gras just wasn't enough to put McIntyre away. I'm surprised so many people have been able to kick out of that. That move. Oh my God, Balor, have mercy. Squeak. Dude, I hope in 2K20 they have Morrow on NXT in the game. Yeah, that would be so awesome. Cool. God bless you, Morrow. You're beautiful. And now McIntyre with some strength. Just a wasteland. Good God. He didn't want to give Balor any time to get out of that maneuver. Just slamming him through the mat. And now Balor over the top rope, crashing to the floor. Now McIntyre with a suplex toss. Uh, slams on the outside of the ring ten times more impactful. You got about an inch thick padding and concrete underneath. Straight concrete. Oh yeah, Ciampa knows all about that. Poor guy. Now, oh god, are we gonna dance? Yep. We're gonna dance. We are gonna dance! This is not No Way Jose. Thank God. I'm sorry I even mentioned that name. How dare you. <laughs> now the champ back in the ring. McIntyre getting back in as well. And McIntyre, the swinging face buster, and Balor getting all sorts of caught up in the ropes. That couldn't have felt good. One, two, no. How did Balor get his shoulder up after that brutal move? I don't know. It's just the power of the Demon King. That is true. Him and his demon power. Now McIntyre once again into the turnbuckle and Balor all the way across the ring. Shotgun drop kick. And is he going to follow up? Hey, I stared out. He's just going to wait it out. Yes, he is. That might have been a mistake. I don't know. McIntyre tripping up Balor. Boston Crab locked in, middle of the ring. But Balor flipping McIntyre out of the submission hold. McIntyre, huge clothesline. 
Oh, McIntyre, I think he was looking for another Glasgow kiss. Balor snap suplex rolling into the cover. One, two, and McIntyre with the shoulder up. And if Balor hits it again, Drew is done. The Demon King looking to fly. Coup de gras. It's over. It's got to oh, be. It has to be. One, two. McIntyre, what are you made of, my friend? Like, what the hell are you made of? Pure Scottish metal. <laughs> God bless him. Forearm strike by Balor, following up with another Pele kick and knocking out Drew McIntyre with a Pele kick. Not Very forceful Pele kick. Yeah, not a signature, not a finisher. I didn't know you'd get knocked out by something that wasn't a cig or a finisher. But you saw it right here. The Demon King defeating the Scottish psychopath on Raw is War. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. As you can see, as I was talking about, the paint slowly chipping away on Balor. That, that's such a cool little thing they added in. Yeah. And the Demon King, the million dollar champion, continuing to build momentum after momentum, victory after victory, but we are moving on to your main event of Raw's War Week 9. We have the king of the cruiserweights, Neville, going up against the world heavyweight champion, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose barely able to escape with his world heavyweight championship at the fast lane pay-per-view, and we haven't seen too much of Neville, but Neville is the king of the cruiserweights for a reason. Very, uh, you know, fuck very, extremely talented is Neville, but can he overcome the world champ, the lunatic fringe? It's main event time. Making his way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 197 pounds, the King. The Lunatic Fringe! And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, Weighing in at 225 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Dean Ambrose. And here we go, Neville with a huge opportunity to come out with a victory over the World Heavyweight Champion. And this one should be very interesting. And Neville going full force right off the bat. But Ambrose with a cross body. It, oh my, it, did you see the speed of those strikes? Yes, the crazy lunatic style of Dean Ambrose going up against the technical and high-flying style of Neville. Or, you know, you could just be Michael Cole. He's crazy! He's a lunatic! He's insane! He's the crazy! Wacky line! He really said that? Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck you, Michael Cole. And Neville with the Huracarana. And you will see uh, mostly... The high-flying maneuvers from the king of the cruiserweights, Michinoku, driver by Ambrose. Now Neville float over DDT. Michael Cole, stop saying things as I say them before I kick you in the dick. And now Dean head first off the top turnbuckle. Neville putting the world champ. Whoa! Good God, the athleticism with the Frankensteiner one. Only Not a, enough to get a two count. I mean, Neville isn't a tall man. No. So imagine how high he had to leap to wrap his legs around the head of Ambrose. They used to call him the man gravity forgot with that, a that bunch a, of other nicknames. That was, that was a good nickname, but him as a face was just terrible. He's not a superhero. He... 
and he fucked with me in the parking lot at SmackDown, and it was hilarious. <laughs> and Neville with a basement drop kick to the knee. Ambrose rolling onto the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Heard My the God. Dirt, the dirt, the dirt. Oh, Dean with the kick. Surprised Dean could get his leg up that high in those jeans. Oh, what a super kick. Kicking Dean's teeth out of his mouth. One. And once again, Ambrose kicking out at a one. Neville got a lot more damage to do. Picking up the strength by Neville just lifting Dean up by his head. And Neville, I guess he saw the McIntyre match. He's trying to finish this quick, but oh. non-effective pins aren't quick. Oh, and Neville. Oh, my God. Look at the torque on the arm. The torque. It's all about the torque. And I torque it. Now Dean with a snapmare. Neville with a shot to the gut. Ambrose being sent into the turnbuckle. Oh, Neville looking to put him on the top again. What a knee straight to the ribs of Neville. Neville still fighting back here. Neither man able to hold control for too long. No, it's been pretty back and forth this whole time. Neville clotheslining Ambrose over the top. Oh my God, are we about to see it? Neville off the ropes. Spaceman plancha. Good Lord, the height he got on that. What a beautiful move that is. And Ambrose is, oh, Neville with a disrespect. And Ambrose making his way to his feet. Neville going for a scoop slam. Oh, Ambrose going for a forearm. They keep running into each other. Because Dean's wacky. Now Ambrose once again into the turnbuckle. Up top he goes. Wait a second, Neville sizing up Ambrose for the signature superplex. Right in the middle of the ring, the impact. Both men with the wind driven out of them. Neville able to hook the leg, one, two. And Ambrose kicking out. Neville starting to get frustrated. Even that superplex wasn't enough. Neville's gonna have to pull out all his stops. But Ambrose here, still not going to give up. Oh, out of nowhere, dirty deeds to Neville. Hook in the leg, one, two. And Neville now with the shoulder up. And Ambrose getting hyped up for this Los Angeles crowd. Neville into the turnbuckle. Dean all the way across the ring, forearm into the bulldog. Great combination there. And now Ambrose hooking the leg, going for the perfect plex. Neville with the roll up. One. No, only a one. Ambrose not going to be caught by a roll up. And Neville. Oh my God, the regal plex. Are we going to see it? The king of the cruiserweights looking to fly. It's his specialty. Red arrow, oh. but Dean got the knees up. A perfect reversal. Dean lifting Neville up. Neville, reverse DDT, but Dean popping right back up again. Michinoku driver, hooking the leg. One, two, and Neville with the shoulder up. Dragging Neville to the center of the ring, but what a kick to the head. Now Neville got the world champ in his grasp, pointing towards the sky. A little bit too cocky for Neville there. I don't know, he got a chop to the chest, but Dean coming back with a forearm, drop toe hold, hanging up the world champ on the middle rope. And now just choking Dean. Picking up Ambrose. Oh! Ambrose rolling through with a drop toe hold. What a reversal. And once again, dirty deeds. It's got to be done. That might be all of it. One, two, three. Your winner, the world champ, Dean Ambrose. Match of the night. I'd agree. Wait. Velveteen Dream. Is he doing it? He's Velvet coming in. Velveteen Dream, Mr. Money in the Bank. 
running towards the ring. Is he gonna do He's it? Doing He's cashing it. in. He's cashing in money in the bank. Ambrose defending the world title after that brutal match with Neville. Can Velveteen do the impossible? And Dean going right at the Velveteen dream. These two men having many problems these past few weeks. And it all comes to this. Finally, Mr. Money in the Bank, Velveteen Dream cashing in, going for his golden opportunity. And keep in mind, Velveteen at 100%. We don't know how damaged Ambrose is after that match with Neville. Velveteen with the opportunity of a lifetime. Snapmare. And now the uh, seated abdominal stretch to Ambrose. And look, Ambrose seems to be in a lot of pain here. You can see him wincing as Velveteen wrenches back on the arm. And just keeping him in that lock up there. And I, Velveteen's not going to let go. Good God. And Velveteen finally releasing the hold. Ambrose looks like he is completely out. And Velveteen with the strength. Deadlift. Gut wrench suplex. Shut up, Michael. Is he looking for it? Is he looking for it? This has got to be it. Velveteen! No! Going for a super fly splash straight to the knees of the world champ. Ambrose fighting back. Velveteen off the ropes. Running into each other. And now... Velveteen with the Velveteen cover. And Ambrose with the shoulder up. Velveteen just hasn't done enough damage yet. He needs to hit one or two big moves. Oh my god. Leg drop! He did it! He did the leg drop! Velveteen is beautiful in the dream cover. Oh my god. If he would have won off a leg drop, I swear. That would have been amazing. I would have marked out. And Velveteen feeling it. Ambrose not able to, oh my god. Mr. Maverick, is this it? Is this it? It could be. No, no it is not. Velveteen calling Ambrose to his feet. Oh, going for a missile drop kick to the back. And Ambrose turning Velveteen over. Stomp, oh my god, just pressing the boot down into the midsection of the dream. Bionic elbow to the head. Now Ambrose sizing up the dream. Precise kick to the midsection. And once again, wearing the dream down. Velveteen got to do something soon. One. And Velveteen with the shoulder up at one. Just a one count for the Velveteen dream. Oh, wait a second. Ambrose now, the one headed to the top. Elbow! Good God! To the back! I don't know if he got all of it, though. He did not, but he got enough. Oh, no. Ambrose! Perfect plex! One! Two! And Velveteen. Velveteen got to do something very soon, or this will be a wasted opportunity. He's got to regain control of this match. Ambrose sizing up. This is bad for the dream. Dean Ambrose. Like he's got this. Dirty Deeds connecting. Ambrose Kick out pulled out a win. Oh! Velveteen at 2.9. Wait! Dream! Dream Valley Driver! Hook in the leg! One! Two! Oh! Not quite enough yet. But... Dream has one more trick up his sleeve. Ambrose with the jawbreaker, cross body raining down the punches. Now Velveteen with a jawbreaker of his own. Oh, going for his own cross body. Dean able to move out of the way. Now slingshotting Velveteen to the mat. Dean certainly found his second, maybe even his third wind here. Yes, he has, and now Velveteen sending the champ to the outside. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the World Heavyweight Championship, and 
I already have to give all the credit in the world to Dean Ambrose for still being in this one, refusing to lose his World Heavyweight Championship. Velveteen with a shot to the gut. Is he? Oh, I, he was looking for the Dream Valley driver, but Dean with the reverse DDT and Velveteen. The very clever Velveteen Dream rolling out to the apron. And now Velveteen, the one crashing to the floor. And Ambrose does have champion's advantage. Title cannot change hands via disqualification or countout. Can Dean going for here? Can he make that? Oh my god, Ambrose with the disrespect. Elbow drop to the back. And once again, perfect plex. Oh no. Oh no. No! Velveteen with a failed cash in. Your winner and still world heavyweight champion. Dean Ambrose, Dean that is Ambrose. Such, a, such a missed opportunity. My heart hurts. Such a shame. I, I am hurting right now. Poor, poor Velveteen. He's been on such a roll. Here is your winner and still world heavyweight champion, Dean Ambrose. Big win here for Fuck you, Dean! Velveteen giving it all he had, but even though we are not happy about the outcome, Dean. It is what it is. What a tough son of a bitch. Yeah, he wrestled pretty much two matches right to back. Two pretty decent matches. The Well, okay, what was match of the night? I would say Neville and Dean. Yeah. Definitely match of the night. Yeah. Um, poor Velveteen. I can't get over that. Failed cat. He he's on the list with Baron Corbin now, and Damian oh. Sand. Ooh, don't even say that name. <sighs> Poor Velveteen, but nonetheless, Dean Ambrose truly proving why he is the top guy here on Raw is War. But that was it for week nine. And remember, guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and/or subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Brandy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for joining us here on Raw Is War Week 9 in Los Angeles, California. Have a wonderful evening. Poor Velveteen. Poor, poor dream.